Oh, I just it's a TV. Okay, we're actually coming out of the TV for once. Guys, my worst fears have been realized. Uh, this is why you always join Discord servers for anything you're interested in, like my channel, for example. I also subscribe to Bob Games, and I got like the notification that the trailer was launched when I was walking Chloe, and I was all excited, and I came home, and I did a whole reaction, and then I went to sync up the footage, and I turned on Discord, and I was like, oh, they got, let me clear that notification. I'm like, hey, what's this? And, uh... Yeah, didn't really talk about this on YouTube. So if you saw the trailer and you got super excited and you're going with my prediction that we were gonna get it on December 22nd, nope. Remember when we had that, like the first time I saw that trailer and then it said winter 2023 and we know that winter technically starts December 22nd, 2023 and runs till like February, what, March 21st, 2024. Yeah. They canceled Poppy Playtime. Well, at least in 2023, it is indefinitely, I think, indefinitely uh, delayed uh, further. Uh, it's, it's been a while, uh, but yeah, today, uh, December 11th, which would be yesterday, we've made the unfortunate decision to delay Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 several additional weeks into 2024. We realize that this news may be disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> really? This was a tough decision, I'm sure it was, and we hope you can accept our apologies. Uh, we'll, we'll see how long it takes. We made this decision to give us enough time to release Chapter 3 at the quality we're striving for. Okay. I'll give you that. Simply put, the game isn't ready yet. Our developers have been putting in extraordinary effort to give you the best possible experience we can deliver. Chapter 3 is going to be the biggest, highest quality installment of Poppy Playtime yet. We cannot wait for you guys to enjoy it. Yes, I definitely expect that. We understand the emotional investment you've made in our game, and we do not take your support for granted. Your enthusiasm and passion are what drive us to continue the creation of this project we poured so much into. Thank you for your support understanding and patience. <laughs> it's wearing thin, guys. Uh, your excitement fuels our commitment to excellence. We can't wait for you to experience the final product. Until then, we've put together this gameplay trailer to finally show the world a small snippet of the incredible work our team has been doing here. We hope you enjoy it. Sincerely, Zach and Seth Bellinger. <sighs> Well, uh, yeah, so they did drop a gameplay trailer number one, uh, which means there's gonna be a gameplay trailer number two. My original excitement, I, you know, I, I was still going with the assumption <laughs> later on in the video, you'll see that uh, that we were going to get this in 2023. So the gameplay trailer number two should come at the end of the week and then we would get the game in about a week after that. But nope, we're not. Sorry, guys. Christmas is ruined. <laughs> They ruined everything! Uh, no, I'm only kidding. I mean, I do understand development is not easy and uh, I'm sure a game as advanced as this is very difficult, to be honest. The last few releases that Bob Games has released, they have botched them a little bit. Uh, Poppy Playtime Chapter 2 had uh, the berry bug when it was first released and <laughs> tons of people were streaming it and they got stuck because they couldn't get past Barry. He wouldn't break the barrier uh, and they needed a hot fix for that for people to actually get through the game. It was completely game stopping. And obviously you guys remember what happened Project Playtime. The game like launched or was gonna launch and then it didn't launch and then it did launch and the servers were broken so they brought it back down and then it, like I don't know two weeks past the uh, actual launch date. We don't want any of that. We do want the game to work right away so I I do uh, appreciate them putting in the time if it wasn't gonna work in time then great um, I'm just really really disappointed uh, because it's been like two years hey everyone it's your friend think noodles and welcome back to think react for today we're reacting to uh, Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 Deep Sleep Gameplay Trailer number one. They've never done this before, but that automatically implies that there's gonna be a gameplay trailer number two. It's kind of like having Skibbity Toilet 67 Part 1. We're gonna see a part two. Either way, guys, I am excited. Let's get it full screen, and, and it looks already like we're gonna see Smiling Critters intro once again for the, I guess, third time in, oh, I, I ooh. Okay, there were some messages there. I didn't I didn't mean to spoil anything. Let's let's go. And I'm gonna watch through it. Right. We already know this. We've already Oh! I just it's a TV! Okay, we're actually coming out of the TV for once. Okay. 1995, 11 a.m. A workforce danger alert. 
I didn't. Oh, dude, there. Okay, there was. The there was a scene back there. Whoa! Have you heard the news? What? P Poppy Playtime's coming out? Oh. Dang, that. I mean, okay. I, we'll go back over it, but I, I have a comment about that, actually. Oh, there's the mask! The flower. Oh, it's. Oh. That's Poppy. That was Poppy's voice. The children have suffered. Captain. Uh-huh. The prototype is his god. Do you the prototype? Wait, 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 I need to see the part. Was that huggy what the children grow hungry? Here is bigger than all of us. Oh, I knew it! I need you. So we can get revenge on those monsters who Whoa. tortured you. Okay. Oh dang. Tortured oh. us! Oh, it's Kissy Messy! I knew it was her talking. Celebrate. Great. What? Oh, up. I knew it! I was right! Rejoice! Has to die. Yeah. For this. Sleep. For everything. Oh, that's kind of Oh! That's cat. Dude, he looks like Huggy Wuggy! I mean, I know he's not, but he's got like the same shape. <sighs> that looks so good! Okay, 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 okay. Anything at the end? All right, there was a lot going on there. We gotta go all the way back to the very beginning. There's a lot I wanna comment on here. So, I mean, there was a lot of gameplay and mechanics revealed in that trailer there that uh, some stuff that would be previously impossible in chapter one and chapter two. Uh, the other thing is like with, with, with what Poppy is talking about, like I almost wanna watch it all the way through again and listen. I might do that instead of like trying to comment on each thing. I wanna listen to everything she says and I'll be right back <laughs> just so I can digest everything all at once. All right, I, w I watched it through just so I could listen to it all at once and not be like searching for little details and enjoyed it. Uh, so uh, we'll talk about what she says. But okay, right here, okay? So this is like the emergency alert system and I watched it again. You can notice like there's like, this is like a floor wall. This is a hallway. And if you watch closely, you can see a shape walking slowly. It's got four legs. I think it's probably catnap. Just based on it being chapter three and deep sleep and all. All right, so have you heard the news? Now, okay, yeah. So this right here, and and, and no, <laughs> I say disrespect, but it just like the layout of it, like of it being sort of like a house, like a set inside of an area. It makes me think Garden of Bam Bam, but like way more detailed and stuff. Uh, we've got a little poppy statue up here. I don't know what that is. We've got like the boxy, uh, boxy boom mailbox, which is super cute. I don't know whose house this is, uh, or why this would be here in like a daycare center inside of a toy or in the basement of a toy factory. But nevertheless, um, and, oh yeah. And Poppy's saying, find the flower. Okay. Wait, I just wanted to see right there, right at the beginning of the scene. Yeah. So right here. Uh, we've got our green hand, which we know is the is the hand that, like, I, from here, I, I would expect it to either take power or put power. Uh, we're walking through what looks like was the bedroom for all of these children in uh, play care. There's a brawn hanging from the ceiling there. Okay, right back there. So that's probably where you take the power from, right here. Charge your green hand and shoot it up at the ceiling. I don't know what that'll... Un it might... I was going to say it might unlock this door, but no, you have to unlock the door first to get to that power spot. Okay, so this is a different room now. It's a different scene. We've got uh, like a uh, kind of like a forklift here, maybe, uh, that says playtime on it. And then we've got the mask lit up by a spotlight. Uh, so this, I would expect, is very, very early game. Uh, you'll notice also as we go up to the mask, there's like a red cloud, which I think is a catnap's gas or breath that you need to put this on to access something over here. So we'll walk up to it. Yeah, right there, you can see the, the red forming and uh, it's telling us to take that and we see which i predicted in a previous uh in the last reaction so catnap's red smoke is going to be in certain areas certain rooms certain puzzles where we'll have to put on the gas mask and i would expect that it'll put like goggles on our screen or make it more difficult to see uh, we only need it in certain areas like there so that we can access certain areas where catnap uh is filling it with the the sleeping gas 
So find the flower and look oh. at all of them in plush form. Uh, these are all sitting here and this looks like a candy cat, a brawn, like all of the like old Poppy Playtime characters before the smiling critters are like hung <laughs> up there. It's almost like the new guard here. This also reminds me like with the with the way this area is set up of PJ Pugapillar's area uh, in chapter two kind of looks like it. I don't know why they're all sitting here, if that's actual gameplay or if that's just a uh, promo image. Now it says these children have suffered. And then it says like, um, so what does it say? Cause like I, I, I brought up the car, the, the, um, the CC, um, close captioning like, and it, it like, it's completely wrong. So I, cause I thought maybe it would say that, that face and it says that thing. Catman. No, that is not. So, I, whatever. Catnaps God is the prototype. Now, this, I believe, is the prototype. Let's analyze all of the parts here. First of all, we've got Bunzo right here. This is a boxy boo claw. Obviously, PJ Pugapillar. And guys, that's an adult, and it's a skeleton, and he's got a ball cap on. I think we know who this is. This is the Doors crossover. We've all been wa- <laughs> But is that not Bob? Come on, guys. Bob in BJ Pugapillar's mouth. Uh, now, uh, let's see, what else do we have here? So the one thing I- I- uh, Oh, hey! That's Huggy Wuggy. Or Mini Huggy. Is this the actual pro- Oh, and uh, there's Mommy Longleg's arm! So wait, is this confirmation that Huggy Wuggy is actually dead? He's right there. Just like we've got one of her arms. Like I bet if we look close enough, we can probably, yeah, there's a, there's her leg right there. There's a leg hanging. And this might be part of her torso and head here. Like that looks like the noodly part of her head. That little foot there. Oh yeah, and another boxy boot claw here, which is kind of weird. I mean, we know he's a, uh, a, a monster in project playtime, but we have not encountered him in Poppy Playtime, so it looks like he was killed and absorbed into the prototype before the events in Poppy Playtime Chapter 1 or 2. He didn't use Huggy Wuggy very well. I'm not sure how you would use him well, uh, but it doesn't seem like it did. But I'm not noticing the hand, right? The hand that we saw in Poppy Playtime Chapter 2 that took Mommy Longleg's top half. Why she got a foot? It, wasn't it her feet that went into the grinder and only her top half popped off? Shouldn't her feet be ground up? There shouldn't be any legs left. How does she have legs? They got sucked into that machine and ground up. But yeah, I'm not seeing that claw that grabbed the top half of her body and dragged it in. Uh, that we assumed was the prototype. Maybe it's a minion for the prototype that brings it to the prototype and the prototype decides how to use it. It doesn't look super mobile, to be honest. It looks like it's affixed to the ground or I don't know, man, or maybe this is where the prototype, st oh, maybe this is where the prototype stores its stuff. That is probably what this is because it doesn't look like it's actually mobile. This looks like it's fixed to the ground. This is like its nest where it puts the body parts it isn't using. Again, I, I don't know where we got the legs, but we got Huggy Wuggy. I feel like that's confirmation that he's dead. Mob games will never tell us because how are you going to sell a Huggy Wuggy plush if he's dead? What do you guys think? Is this not it? I mean, it's, we can't tell, but it's blue. That's blue. I, I think he's dead. Now that that's settled, or not. Okay. So right here, who is this? See, because I thought before I saw that, before I like, because this image flashed by so quickly, I didn't even notice Huggy Wuggy there, although I should have. Uh, but who is this? Because this has the lips of Huggy Wuggy, right? But there's like no hair. It's tied around the waist, but it's like, it's, you see how like furry this is around the waist? And then here, there's no hair on the arms or anything. You know, wait, if we look closely, actually right here, like watch closely right here. Yes. So there's an ear here. Yeah. So I bet that's one of the smiling critters. Like, uh, what's the rabbit? Hops, hops, hoppy, hoppy, <laughs> hoppy hopscotch. I think. Think? Because I feel like they've introduced all of these characters for a reason, right? It could be, oh, it could be Dog Day also. I was just going to say, because, uh, I mean, he could be sad and his ears are down, but his ears are already down, but they look longer, like a rabbit's ears. I don't know, man. 
but it's got to be one of them, either Dog Days or Hoppy Hopscotch. So we will probably see all of the smiling critters in um, bad Help situations, me. like <laughs> Catnap put them to sleep in their little cartoon, and then he locked them up and tied them up. But it's still alive. And it says these children. Happening so down here is okay, and this right here, which is also something I thought that we would be able to do. Uh, you can see if you watch it frame by frame, we've got multiple hands, which I thought in the last one we might be able to do. Uh, so if we put it down, oh no, it, I don't know why it stays open like that. So right here is the little capsule here. I thought that, and it probably is, it's triggering, hey, I'm choosing another hand. I'm choosing the purple hand. Uh, so this pops open and triggers the other hand as it goes down boop, and it comes back up. And this hand is Seek from- <laughs> I'll stop with the doors references. No, I won't. Um, so yeah, that is what the purple hand does. We, we wondered about this in the screenshots on the Steam page because we definitely saw this little hand spot here. And I wondered what the purple hand was for because it didn't have the purple hand in the screenshot. So you switch hands to the purple one and it makes you like super jump. And then I don't know what you're gonna do after that because you don't have another one of those. But um, anyway, you made it across. This could be just a regular VHS tape. Uh, it is the most evil I've ever seen Huggy Wuggy look. Like more evil than him when he was killing us every single time in chapter one. That is, that is, that is, wow. <laughs> He's evolved. Need you. Uh, so she needs us. Now, we can get revenge. so yeah, this, so this was a puzzle. This is the first puzzle in the trailer. Uh, we are in some sort of like, it don't look like a play care. I'll tell you that. Uh, it's some kind of like reactor area. It says power right here, I think. We've got this, I think is that purple handprint thing again. But what we're doing, this is a new power pole that we're interacting with. And yeah, there's a wire here that's got like two lightning bolts and I maybe have to get three or four. There's just like a little poppy in this thing here. So I feel like we power that all the way and it opens this up and maybe let's poppy out maybe this is our first release of poppy so this is already connected this hand here is connected to power this hand we we're, we're shooting right at this little spot here which is going to spin around and spin the power around the pole including powering the pole so instead of us having to walk around it it, it swings it slingshots it like you're going around a moon on your way to Mars. So it slingshots it through. Oh, okay, so that one stops it. Oh, and it pops it open. And then it shoots it across to, to, I think it goes out of frame. No, no, okay, to another one. They're automatically lined up like that. So this one is connected, I don't know, something back here. We'll have to remember this because it looks like a complicated puzzle. And, oh, and then there's a there's the purple thing there, the purple pad bear, and there. So then it would hit that, hit that, and I think after that I don't know what, where it's gonna go. Oh yeah, see, see, we 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 connected to this, and that might have actually you have to do this one first, and then it powers up these poles, and then you can do the spinny thing. Um, and there's a hole in the wall here. No, no, don't turn. I want to see what. Where's it going? Where's it going? Where's it going? Oh, it's gonna shoot this way. So yeah, it's coming toward us this way. So there's another spot where it goes. Ah, where's it going? Uh, okay, it's gonna hit something over this side. <laughs> you know, it looks like a lightsaber right here now. <laughs> okay, no Star Wars coffee playtime. Okay, so what, so this right here, I didn't even, how did I, I like completely missed this scene. I watched this twice and I didn't even see this scene. Oh yeah, no, 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 I did. I was looking in the foreground at this, um, furry monster. Now I thought because of the way it walked and it was like bipedal, uh, that it was Huggy Wuggy. I'm not sure anymore because of what we saw in, uh, the prototype area, whatever that was. Um, because, uh, it could be, it could also be her, it could be Kissy Missy, it could be Huggy Wuggy, and it could also be Catnap because we know he walks like that. So now this uh, it almost looks like we're underwater or something, but I know that's not Tortured true. Us. Uh, the, and that was sort of a cutscene, but we were carrying a uh, Poppy and Kissy Missy. So it's not the Kissy Missy that walks around and helps us. It's the like doll sized one. I don't know who would be calling here. The place went kind of out of business. It looks like in, well, in like, what was it? 1995 here when everything went down. Uh, so why anybody be calling now? I don't know. Um, 
Yeah, so this, uh, yeah, this is where we put on the mask, right? So we're coming down and we see the red fog, the red breath. And yeah, it does occlude our vision as I thought. The so there. Has to die. So this, the prototype has to die. Her saying that. Do you think, and does that mean that Poppy Playtime Chapter Three is it? I I wouldn't think so. But they've worked on this for so long. Maybe it is. Maybe it's just a trilogy. Maybe it's one, two, three, and then that's it. That'd be crazy. Because it would be unexpected, but maybe that's why it's taken so long. They're trying to perfect it as the end of the series, and we actually have to kill the prototype. There is a gameplay trailer part two coming at some point. Maybe we'll get a little bit more, but. For this. For there, okay, and yeah, there is Catnap. So, Catnap, obviously. Now, this reminds me of the tunnels in PJ Pugapillar, right? Like he crawls to the tunnel after you. It's it's quite similar. I mean, obviously he's not PJ Pugapillar, but oh, I, I like I like his uh, emotion there. He just looks deranged. Okay, and then there's a hole down here. Now we well, hold on. I was just listening to what she said. We didn't talk about this when she says Prototype has this, what is this? This also <laughs> giving me band band vibes of like the the like the elevators and the and the travel later things and like Garden of Band Band Three. Down. I don't know what we're jumping. Uh, it's just a catwalk, really. I guess I don't know why. Like it Garden of Band Band. I could have like into Poppy Playtime Chapter One. Uh, so we jump down this little area here, this little hole. Oh, we got a green hand, and this is always open. I guess on the one that you can change it to. Uh, yeah, it does always seem to be open. How did how did we make this jump? Is there something pushing us? Cause that looks like an unmakeable jump, dude. Oh, maybe it was swinging. I eh, I don't know, man. That's a weird movement thing. What does this say here? Uh, something awaits those who believe. <laughs> Death probably. <laughs> Yeah, and there, and this is where I got the, so he's not walking and he is not bipedal. So he actually has four legs on the ground. They're just super long legs like uh, Huggy Wuggies are or uh, Kissy Missies are, but he uses all four. So back to this scene here then, that Mom, means so whatever that is, no, that's, you know what? That's, that's catnap. Cause you can see, I said bipedal, but no, they're, they're, it's, it's on four legs. You can see the legs are on the ground there. That's just the front leg walking past the back legs. Yeah. Okay. So that's, I'm, I'm betting anything that's just catnap. Okay. <laughs> All right. I think that we've uh, over analyzed, analyzed the, the gameplay trailer number one as much as we can. There's a lot in there. Uh, we at least figured out one of the hands, uh, what they do, some new uh, puzzle pieces that we're gonna have to use. I'm sure that those are gonna be used extensively. Just like the, the green hand mechanic uh, and the green pads were used a lot in Poppy Playtime Chapter Two. Those spinning ones, I think are gonna be used a lot in Poppy Playtime Chapter Three. Now the real question, well, the big question is when will gameplay trailer number two come out? And my prediction this Friday or next Monday, and then, the question that we all want to know the answer to is when will Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 come out? And when will we be able to play it? And my prediction, I'm going to stick with it, is going to be Jan- uh, No, not January! <laughs> Chill. Sorry, sorry, sorry. December 22nd. <laughs> Friday, December 22nd is when I expect it to come out. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think, and if you're looking forward to it, please do drop a like on my video as well, and I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching, and of course, new line!